What in the world is up guys? Today I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys a, a cool little uh, file transfer method in um, Linux uh, command line, the uh, terminal. Um, I'm using it, I just came across a good use for it today. I use it all the time, but um, for a while I never knew how to, how to use this and it's really handy. Basically, if you have more than one uh, machine that has a Ubuntu server on it or some type of Linux, um, this is only going to probably work for um, Ubuntu distributions, but it basically allows you to take a file or a directory and just write it directly from one server to another server. So you can take it and just copy it over. And you can do that through through the network. Um, it can be a local server or it can be something over a network, over the internet. So it doesn't have to be on a local network. Um, I just finished it right here. You saw it running in the background. I was moving all my pictures over to another server because I just got it running. So basically, just to show you real quick, this is what it looks like when it's running. We just moved a couple thousand files. They were all relatively small. Some of them were large, but it shows you when it runs. You guys just saw it running in the background. You have It shows you the percentage of how much it's transferred over, the size of how much is transferred over, the average speed that it's transferring at, and then the ETA, the estimated time left, how much is left. So it'll show you how big it is. Most of these files are under a couple megs, so they're not too big, but there were a couple in here that were over a few hundred megs. So, I mean, it just depends on the file size and how long it's going to take, but it's generally pretty fast if you have a good network speed. So, um, I'll just show you guys how to do it real quick. It's actually relatively simple. We'll go ahead and um, clear the screen. Clear, CLE. You can learn how to spell clear. And I'll go ahead and show you guys the code for it. So let's just go ahead and hit LS and let's move um, anything. Let's go ahead and move. Um, let's go ahead and move this, this file right here um, because it's a small file. All these are really large folders, so I don't want to move any of these because they're all really big and they would take days to move. So, um, but this is a, just a little document here, and we'll, we'll move this file from one server to another. So you can see that I have the, um, oh, I tried to, um, um, this is the code I was using earlier to move pictures, but uh, let's skip this for now. So, um, anyway, we have this server 4 open right here. This is my Dell um, Power Edge uh, 1850, and this is my 2950 server 5. So we have two totally different servers. They're both running a Ubuntu um, server on them. So these are uh, SSH into them. And we're just going to move this file from server 5 to server 4, okay? So to do it, we're going to use secure copy, which is SCP. Now this is all comes with Ubuntu, so you don't have to install anything. You don't have to sudo apt get or anything like that. If you're moving a file, you can just leave it like that. If you're moving a directory or a folder, of course you're gonna have to put minus R to make it reclusive. Just like any other time you like delete or move a folder, you have to use the minus R. Um, let's see. So we're gonna go SCP, and then you just put the location of the file on the local server. So, I mean, you could go, you can put the entire location. In our case, it's already right here in our current directory. So we just put new and I just hit tab and it fills it all in for me. So SCP, the name of the file, and then um, now you have to put where it's going. So it's gonna go to server four here. Um, but you have to know one of the users on server four. So I know that on server four there's a user named Jacob. So I'm gonna put Jacob. So you have to have a user account on that and then you're gonna have to put at. And then you can put server server 4 now earlier for me for some reason the host name wasn't working it wouldn't recognize server 4 I had to actually get the IP address so um, we'll see if it works this time then what you do is you put um, the you put a little um, colon here and then um, after the colon you put um, the location on that server where you want it to go so I'm gonna put um, slash home slash it has to always begin with a slash to slash home slash Jacob and this is my account so just to show you guys real quick here if I go LS there's nothing on there but a folder called pictures there's a directory called pictures so if I run this and I hit enter 
Um, see, and it did this to me earlier. I don't know, for some reason it doesn't recognize this, the hostname server 4. So I had to just pull up my um, router and find the um, IP address of it, and it's 10.0.0.20. So I just put that in there, and it worked fine. So instead of putting the host name, I put um, 10.0.0.20. Now, in most cases, it probably will work with your host name, but just for some reason, it's acting a little funky now. And what it's going to want to know is the password of Jacob or whatever it is, that user on that server. So you do have to know someone on the server that you're sending the file to, and you have to know their account and their password. So it's going to ask for the password. This isn't like a like a pseudo password for this server. This is the password to that server that you're writing to. So I'm just going to enter in that server's password and it'll send the file over. And it was a very small file, just 50 kilobytes, so it sent it very quick. Um, and it's 100% done. So now if I go ahead and just do the ls now, this server, you can see that this file is now on this server. And that's an easy way to move files from one server to another through Linux uh, terminal on command line. You don't have to, you know, make a Samba account and all that and um, install Samba on these and do it through Windows, although that's an easy way to do it too, but this is a really easy way to move a lot of files. If you want to move an entire directory, you can do that too. And it'll move very large files. It's very quick at doing it. Again, that you have a good network speed. And I mean, it'll move files several gigabytes in size, no problem. So, I mean, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I just want to do a quick tutorial on secure copy. By the way, if I didn't mention that, that's what that stands for, SCP, Secure Copy. And um, that's it for this one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, guys, have a good one.